Hello, good evening. Okay, we're waiting for the other participants to connect. All right, just one more minute. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher, everybody. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. How's it going? Good, how about you? Good, good, teacher. Can't finish to eat. <laughs> I'm having some issues with my earphones, I'm sorry. Well, no, many people joined today. Hopefully they got the right link. Hopefully. Well, what day is today? Almost the last day of class. Thursday. Thursday, that's right. Okay. Almost finished this level. Almost. Almost, almost. This is the class before the last one. Okay. Yes. Before to the last one. Before the last one, exactly. Hello, everybody. Teacher, uh, today, today reading uh, something about uh, uh, it's like a uh, ADS to. And so, um, I, I see uh, maybe like a, a how do you say it's like a legal um. In English or something like that, it's, it's maybe lawyer, but mm -hmm. it's in an auxiliar or or clear. Really? Uh, maybe traduction, technical uh, about the lawyer, uh, contract, contract, mm -hmm. format, and whatever. I think that's very important to uh, maybe yes, definitely. Get that Definitely. gets employees, that gets a job. Mm -hmm. So you get familiar with that type of vocabulary. Yes, mm -hmm. they pay uh, $900. Oh, wow. In, in, in home, remoto. 
Yeah, online. Yes, From online. home, doing home office. Yes. That's great. Are you applying? Excuse me? Are you applying? Uh, applying? What do applying, you mean? Applying for this job. <laughs> I would like to apply, <laughs> but in this moment, I, my yeah, English yeah. is very, very basic. <laughs> you need, yeah, you need to improve. Yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, welcome everybody. This is our class number 19, actually. Oh my goodness. But it's a very interesting yeah. topic we're studying today, yes. Yeah, sorry, could you review the, the platform? The platform, yes, we're gonna have time for the platform, don't worry. Yeah, I saw you were you were sending messages, but thank you for the reminder. It's very important. Okay. Sure. okay. <laughs> All right. Actually, let me check. Let me check it out. The progress. Let's see. Section four at this time, right? And the final exam. It's true. You have a final exam for. Tonight or tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So we have from the assignment 16 to the assignment 19 on this uh, section, actually. Oh, but it's not that difficult, actually. I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, to the assignment 20, actually. All oh, right. Okay. Let's have the attendance before anything else happens. Let's see how many people are joining tonight. I see 11 already, according to Zoom. <laughs> because it says 12, but one is me. Okay. So let's have Andrea Monge. Hello, Andrea. Not here, Andrea. Uh, yes, I see Andrea trying to connect her audio. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't have issues with the internet. Hopefully. Carlos, Denise. Here, teacher. Okay. Gilberto. Hello. Hello. Yo creo que al final este le ganó. Hazel, Hazel. Present. Hey. Sí. Jose, Andres, Magia, Julio Cesar, present. Hi, Catherine, present. Hello, Kathy, present. Hi, Maria, present teacher. Hello, <coughs> hello, Roberto. Roberto is not here. Oh my God. That's terrible. <laughs> Maybe he's working tonight. Extra time. Let's see. Rolando. Present teacher. Oh, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Rudy. Salvador. Andrea Urbina. Virginia. Present teacher. Hey. Present. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. William. Mahir. 
present okay. teacher. Hi. You Hi. are here. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> okay. Teacher, you acaba de entrar, present. Hello, how are you? Fine. Fine. Are you working? No. no. Ahorita voy de camino. Going no, home. Going home. Going home. Okay. Well, vamos a ver. To start. To start the class. Vamos a escribir en el chat. Whatever. Cualquier cosa que hayamos aprendido últimamente. No necesariamente en la clase. Whatever in English. Obviously no tiene que ser something negative or something bad, right? Whatever, vocabulary, anything on the chat. But preferentemente que sea una oración, right? Porque palabras isolated a veces no nos dicen mucho. Pero, por ejemplo, si yo digo assignment. Ok, I have a lot of assignments from my class. Or I have a lot of assignments at work. Yes? Una oración en contexto. On the chat. Let's see. One minute. What do you mean, teacher? What's mean assignment? Assignments son asignaciones, tareas. Ah, Okay. Usted puede, es un ejemplo. Usted puede escribir whatever you have learned late. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. But a sentence, in a sentence. All right, one minute. Or from the class, whatever you have learned from the class too, también cuenta. But if you don't want to write something from the class, you can write something that you learn extra. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No message yet. Time up. <laughs> we need a timer. Teacher for me uh, was reading Mount Height. Mm -hmm. One million three hundred three hundred forty thousand, whatever. And uh, I think that's it's very important for me to uh, how to read a mount. Uh huh. All right. Anybody else? Anything that you have learned from English? All right. Good verb. So says, I remember the use of the verbs in past, how to use the gerunds. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. How to use your as after, yeah, as a subject and after some verbs. After some verbs, actually, it's the most challenging. <laughs> and the most common is after prepositions or, I mean, as subjects. Mm -hmm. The use of the simple present, all right. What else? What else? What else? Very good. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Have you ever learned a song in English? Have you ever tried to learn a song in English? 
unfortunately here we cannot sing songs <laughs> because of the copyright but it would be really great all right the use of the third person in simple present that's great mm -hmm. all right well at least we have some some comments some messages that's great maybe the others are not able to write right now it's okay we're gonna get them right in a little while no problems all right well tonight's section it's the class number 19 as i mentioned before and of course the date is thursday may 18th imagine what a coincidence this is 18th and this is 19th tomorrow this is going to be 19th and this is going to be 20. that's so weird <laughs> if we hadn't missed the first class yes i would have i mean we would have finished today that was so weird in such a great coincidence all right today or tonight at, on this session the participants will be able to complete some statements individually in board game using zero conditional zero conditional we started talking yeah we started talking about yes demonstrative pronouns mary said yeah we studied demonstrative pronouns as well so yes zero conditional we started talking about this last night and of course it's a great idea to keep on going i'm sorry let me yeah let me share from the manual for you to have a better idea and it's right here how to use zero conditional because that's what we're gonna study hmm. there's no conversation to introduce this topic so we'll go straight ahead zero conditional it's the simple the simplest conditional in english because there are four conditional so zero conditional is if you do this you get this result right so there is of course affirmative sentences or questions for example the first one what do you do Oh, what do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low assets, we have to even up prices or we have to even up prices if we have low assets. You can also use zero conditionals using when. When does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. Or my family goes to the bank when they need a loan. En lugar de when, también podríamos usar if. If my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. My family goes to the bank if they need a loan. Es lo mismo. Podemos usar el if or el when. Yes? Is this clear? If or when? Mm -hmm. It's the same. In this case, ah, okay. for the zero conditional. Yes? Okay. If right. I'm hungry, ¿qué hago? Uh, buy food. I buy food. I get food. I food. Yeah. ¿Le puedo dar vuelta? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Um, I get, buy food. Uh -huh. food. I buy food if hungry. I'm hungry. Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. el orden en el que ubiquemos las ideas, en este caso, para el zero conditional, ambas son posibles. El if okay. close at the beginning or the if close at the end of the sentence. Yes? Okay. 
Okay. Another example. Right. Uh, let's say, if I arrive late to my work, I get in trouble. <laughs> the discount in my payroll. <laughs> I get a discount in <laughs> my payroll. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully no. <laughs> but I get the discount in my payroll if I get late or if I arrive late to my work. Or when I arrive late to my work, I get a discount on my payroll. Or I get in trouble, let's say. Or I get in trouble when I get late to my work. Yes? So if or when both are possible and the order of the ideas okay. is possible to have the if or the condition at the beginning or the if or condition at the end. Yes? Interchange the, the, the result. Order. Yes. The order, okay. Mm -hmm. That's possible, okay? You see here, okay. if okay. I wake up late, I am late for work. Si invertimos esto, ¿cómo nos queda? I am late. I am late for work. work. Late for work. If? If I wake up If late. I wake up late. Yes. So, de ambas formas yes. es correcto. All right? Okay. Okay, bye. Correct. Voy a dar un par de minutos para que traten de resolver este exercise y luego compartan con sus partners cómo les quedó. Traten de hacerlo primero de forma individual. No es nada más que poner el verbo, ¿ok? Como veo. Le dan ambos verbos en el paréntesis. Aquí solo es cuestión de si es tercera persona, pues conjugarlo, ¿verdad? Like my son is third person. Finish? No, yet. No, yet, sure. All right. One, One please. Okay.
All right, you can share with your partner, all right? All right. Let's see, maybe with your partner supports, it's a little bit easier. Let's see, I think. This number is okay. Say, no sé si usted ya trabajó en. Pero voy a ver si te puedo ayudar en algo. Siempre pregúntame. Ok. Han trabajado en las. En las preguntas. Eso es lo que compartió la, la teacher. Cabal es cierto. Ay. A ver qué tal. Bonito, va? bonito. ¿Cómo le va? Ya, Yo le digo a mi esposa que sí, vaya. Así como el fans tiene ventaja y desventaja, porque solo es un sí. gol. Un gol ligero lo pueden empatar, ya distinto es. Chidasen. Chidasen, ajá, chidasen. Chidasen, ajá, tu pay extra. Chidasen. Extra money, money, ¿verdad? Sí, este, este ven, vienen en la plataforma. Ajá. ¿Cuál puso usted? ¿De la plataforma? No, ahorita la, la que estamos haciendo. O ya la, ya la hice, number 5. Number 5. No, no, si solo había hecho la number 1, number 2 y number 3, esa había hecho. Ah, ok. Ajá. En number 5 y de com. In the comps, right. are good employee. No sé qué puso usted. O cómo oh. lo entiende. No lo había hecho, pero ahorita la voy a ver. In comments. Uh, y usted lee como es el ver to be, ¿verdad? Es sí. uh, are are good y, sí. y ese, esa frase en comments que porque no no la no la encuentra no la identifico que es como como podría decirle eh, ingresos ah si o sea ingresos, que está en, en plural sí, sí ah eh, ok 
Si Esto los decía, ingresos ah. están buenos, un empleado recibe o un empleado recibe un bono, ¿verdad? Ajá. Escuche. In the income. Employee. Receipts. Lleva a ese, ¿verdad? Receipts. Sí, porque está hablando Acord. de una sola persona. Ajá, de una sola persona. Ajá. Receipts. A bonus. A bonus. Okay. Number six. Number seven. Number six. Number six. Uh -huh. We. We sell. We sell. More products when we. When we eat KR. No, es que no lleva el verbo to be ahí. No lo lleva. No, es we, hey, el, we, el, we know the el customer know. need. Sí, porque no, 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 no lo lleva entre paréntesis el, el, el sí. verbo to be. Ajá. Nosotros conocemos los clientes y lo que necesitan, ¿verdad? Oh, sí. Teacher Hazel va en camino, aún va en carretera. Oh. Chao. Vaya. En la tercera, it employees don't add. And um, well, days. If employees don't eat well, they they are no yeah. Yeah. Um, Ese EAT no era al otro lado. No. EAT vuelve. Como al otro lado. Siempre hay una tercera. En la tercera. Guay, pu. Así como están entre paréntesis. Ajá. Guay, cap. Ajá. Guay, cap. Late. I am late. I am late for work. Uh -huh. Solo así, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Y la segunda? My son 
pours the food. The food in the cooks alone. Con ese cooks. Cooks. If employees don't well, they aren't healthy. 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 We, when she pay her bills on time, she had not to pay extra money. Así le quedó eso. No, yo <coughs> la tengo. We, she pays con ese al final. Pays. Uh -huh. Her bills on time, she doesn't. To pay extra money. Extra money. Okay. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. Y la cinco. If the incomes are good and employee saves a bonus. Receives con S al final. Receive. No, no le viene el bono de, de, de bonificación. Uh -huh. Porque como si uh -huh. ella no está activa, no le viene ese dinero. Ah, uh, ok. Porque dan uh -huh. bonos, pero dan bonos para gasolina que ya vienen, son dos al, al mes. Ok. Y dan otro bono para un utensilio. O se manda a pedir a San Salvador cuánto utensilio vos vas a necesitar. Y ellos ya lo mandan. Ah, Esa okay. es la, la otra parte que se hace. Mm, okay. Pero no vas a poner, yo necesito cinco hacer también un pamba. O sea, eso no es así. Tienes que pedir por lo menos unas ocho cajas de 100 unidades. O uh -huh. unos unas 100 unidades de suero porque el suero se va bastante ah ok Ajá. qué bien hombre sí, sí es bien bonito ya, es bien ya amplio termin ya terminó el, no. el exercise <risa> el ejercicio este lo estaba viendo solo hice como tres ah, ¿dónde se quedó? en la tercera fíjate espérame lo voy a ajá My family goes to the bank when they, when they need a loan. Mm -hmm. Teacher. I have a question, teacher. Uh, the conditional zero, they use this in affirmative sentence. Podría ser affirmative or negative or questions. Es como cuando dice que sí es cierto lo que está diciendo. Mm, Algo así. No. Es como si reúne esta condición, esto va a suceder. Ah. O esto no va a suceder si no haces tal cosa, por decir algo. Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Donde estaba usted leyendo, don Rolando, when my family needs a loan. Cuando ah, mi familia, ah, bueno. Ajá. Cuando mi family necesita financiamiento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ellos go to the bank. Ellos van al banco, ¿verdad? Ajá. My family goes to the bank. We had to event. Or no. this, uh, oh, my family goes to the bank. Mm -hmm. Cuando they need a loan. 
cuando ellos necesitan préstamo o crédito. Ajá. Aquí ya la, la, la cambió, ¿verdad? Si usted mira la diferencia. Ajá, es cierto. Ajá, es que uno está, empieza con Gwen, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. Y la siguiente ya está, el Gwen está en medio. Y si usted ve, donde dice la, la primera, when my family needs a loan, lleva coma. Ajá. Pero ya invertida, my family goes to the banks. When they need a loan, ya no lleva coma, es una sola oración. Mm, es cierto. Sí. They go to the bank. Ajá. They go to the bank. Ellos van al banco, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Y ya eh, eh, al revés. My family goes to the bank. Siempre, ¿verdad? Está diciendo mi familia. Ajá. Mi familia va al banco. Va al banco. Ajá. Es cierto, tiene razón. When they need a loan. Cuando ellos necesitan crédito. Qué bonito, ¿verdad? Para sacar crédito hasta la magnífica le piden a uno. No, y esta yuca es sacar crédito. Ay. Sí. Finish, right? Mm -hmm. Wake up. If I wake up late, I am. I am. I am late for work. Late for work. <laughs> my son. Born. Oh, my son. Born. Burns. The food Born. if he. The food cook. is. Cooks. He cooks. If he cooks alone. Cooks alone. Yeah. Yes. If employees. Don't eat. Don't eat well. They aren't 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 healthy. 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 Yes, or are not. You decide if you want to contract or not contract, right? When she pays, 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 her, pays her bills on time. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have, have to play extra money. She doesn't have to pay. Doesn't have to pay extra money. If the incomes was was are are oh, if sorry. the incomes are good, an employee. Receive a bonus. Receive a bonus. All right, we we sell.
or products when we know no. when we know the customer needs when we know the customer's needs Bye. did you practice reading these conditional sentences yes yes okay I'm going to say one sentence en el orden en el que aparece acá y ustedes le tienen que invertir el orden. Yes? Yes. Are you ready? Empezamos con Mr. Gilbert. If I wake up late, I am late for work. Usted le tiene que decir okay. de forma invertida. Uh -huh. I am late for work. Uh, if I wake up late. late if I wake up late. Yes, very good. Mary, my son burns the food if he cooks alone. <clears throat> my son. Hmm? No. <laughs> if if he cooks alone mm -hmm. and my son burns the food exactly if or you can say if my son cooks alone he burns the food so that we know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Rolando. If employees don't eat well, they are not or they aren't healthy. Eat, lo puedo usar en medio, teacher. No. El if. Sí. Sí. Oh, they, they aren't so help them is employing doms eat well exactly they aren't healthy if employees don't eat well okay, okay. carlos okay when she pays her bills on time she doesn't have to pay extra money she doesn't have to pay extra money uh she pays she bill on time. When she pays her bills. When she okay, when she pays her bill on time. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Who else? Next one would be Catherine. If the incomes are good, an employee receives a bonus. <laughs> mm-hmm. Catherine or another person who wants to help Catherine. Mm -hmm. A volunteer. Nobody volunteers? Number five, teacher. Yes. Eating comments are and no no change the order and switch the order and employer receive a bonus mm -hmm. if the income are good if the incomes are good exactly and the last one we sell more products when we know the customers need. Mm -hmm. when Somebody when we know when we know the when we know the customer need mm -hmm. we find more product. That's Mary expert. <laughs> 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 okay. She's an expert. When we know the customer's needs, we sell more products. All right. Okay. 
Give me one second. I just need to share something right here. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Hold on. Well, actually, I just got this other exercise for you to reinforce. I think you saw this exercise. It's kind of long, but you don't really have to write every sentence, right? But it's necessary that you read, that you say the verb, right? It's very similar because you have the verb in parentheses for both, for the if clause and for the result clause, right? If it rains, the streets get wet. Or the streets get wet if it rains. Yes? My mother gets angry when? I don't. I don't? My homework every day. Uh-huh. My mother gets angry when I don't do my homework every day i don't do exactly because don't is auxiliary for the negative and then the action is do okay okay mm -hmm. okay. okay so if you it's different topic no it's similar <laughs> it's the same oh o sea, son significan diferente oh. exactly porque solo el do es el verbo hacer like uh -huh. do homework. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Next, if you. Number three. If your rooms. If you run too fast. You get really exhausted. You get really exhausted. Exactly. Bye. And this exercise, no me interesa tanto que vayan escribiendo como cada respuesta pero sí que vayan leyéndolas. Y en la medida de lo posible, que vayan invirtiendo. Como haciendo el swap de, de, de las oraciones, ¿ya? Por ejemplo, si yo digo en, en la number two, my mother gets angry when I don't do my homework every day. When I don't do my homework every day, my mother gets angry. Yes. Okay. Es como que solo empezáramos con la segunda parte de... Exacto, de la oración. Porque ambos órdenes son posibles. Ok. Uh -huh. vale, pero en este ejemplo lo que más me interesa Fiche, es Y eso, en, estos, ¿sí? en estos ejemplos, uh -huh. el verbo no cambia. No, porque es zero conditional. Solo ah. se conjuga con la tercera persona. Eso es todo. Ah. Ya si estuviéramos viendo first, second, or third conditional, ahí sí es un relajo. This uh -huh. is the easiest. Sí. Ah, va. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. No problem. Va, ahorita se los comparto. Solo que voy a rehacer los groups because some people are still going home. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to move. Yes. For this one. And here we go. A ver si lo ah, quiero ver si lo convierto a PDF para que sea editable y 
En un segundo se lo comparto. Vamos a ver. Ok. Rolando, are you, are you there, Rolando? No está Don Rolando. Se fue. Don Rolando es el de allá del de lago, ¿verdad? Sí, de... De allá de... Oh, excuse me. Suchitlán, Tenía no, apagado el... el... Hey, how are you? Me... Tenía apagado el micrófono. <risa> sí, se ve bien. Ok, pues empecemos a leer mejor. Voy a empezar Va. yo con la una. Va, chivo. Como somos Ay. tres, yo soy la dos y... y... ¿Qué ves? Um, Salvador es el tres. Ah, no creo. Work. Every day. If you own too fast, you get really exhausted. Exhausted. You get really exhausted if you run too too fast. Mm -hmm. I can understand Elizabeth when she speaks so quickly. When she when speak, mm -hmm. speak so quickly. Mm -hmm. I can understand Elizabeth. If Madeline miss the seven o'clock train, I can, I can understand Elizabeth when she speak the speak to. Quickly, when she speaks so quickly, quickly, I can understand Elizabeth. Va. She. Um, ¿Cómo sería? Sí. Cinco. Sí, pero cómo sería el el um, el B? If Madeline miss the seven no. o'clock. Era. ¿Es la número 5? Sí, pero es que yo la estaba... Se, se supone que tenés que empezar desde la... Desde el she. She pero is... Este, ah, vaya, gracias compañero. Eso quería saber yo. She is late for work if Madeline miss the seven o'clock range. Pero recupera ahora el ocho de deportivo. Va por ella. Dale, don Salvador. Sí. Ok, the number three. You, you run. Run. This third person. Really? You. No. Tú. You. you tú. Creo ah, que no, okay. ¿verdad? Okay. Ahí tú es como tú, ¿verdad? Ajá, eres tú. It's the second person. Ajá, se comparso. Ok, if you run too fast, you, you, get, get, you get, you get really, okay. really, so, so now interchange the sentences with the, yeah. uh, you get really exhausted yeah. if so, you run too fast. Too fast, perfect. Mm -hmm. Ok, Rolando, ¿puede decirla, por favor, invertida? Ok, uh, you get uh, really, uh, la última frase, ¿cómo se llama? Exhausted. Ah, exhausted, I think. Ajá, uh -huh. you get uh, really exhausted if you run too fast. Ok, number four, I can't. Understand Elizabeth when she 
I have the story Elizabeth speak when so she quickly. speaks so quickly. So quickly. Mm -hmm. Que Rápidamente. Sí. Quickly Hablando es rápidamente. Quickly. Uh -huh. Yes, oh. es rápidamente. Sí, aquí sería speak. Pero ¿cómo sería ahí? Speak. Porque dice I can. Yo puedo entender, ¿verdad? Ah, ajá. Yo no, ajá. yo no le entiendo a Elizabeth cuando ajá, ella yo habla. No le entiendo. Ajá. Muy rápido. Cuando ella habla rápida, rápida, rápidamente, rápidamente. rápido. Ajá. Eh, el, verbo, el verbo va así, ¿verdad? En su forma, en su forma infinitivo. Eh, ¿Cuál? Speak. Sí. Understand. Ajá. I can understand. Ajá. Eh, va siempre en la, en la base for when when she speed so quickly. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can understand understand Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Quiero ver when she when she speaks so quickly. I can understand Elizabeth. Algo así, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, number sí. five. Number five. It Madeleine. Sí. Ok. Miss. Miss. What's mean Miss? Miss. Miss, ¿verdad? Miss the seven o'clock. Miss the seven train. o'clock. Train. She, she is el uh, verbo to be y y be she is verdad is. ajá porque es ella ajá. is is late for work mm. she is, is. no quiero ver if Madeline ah si sí, Madeline es como que pierde el tren de las siete mm -hmm. ella uh, She don't... Ella se tarda. No, sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, llegaría tarde a su trabajo. Ajá, llegaría, llegaría tarde quizás, ¿verdad? Ajá, no, está... pero... Ley for where. Estaría tarde en su trabajo. Entonces está Ajá. bien. She, she, is, she, she, she is late. Is... Yo diría porque Liz es como está de... Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí. Ajá. Ok. Y el, el si lo interchange, Rolando. She is late for work. Uh, is meddling, verdad? Uh -huh. Miss, miss the seven of close train. Uh -huh. Okay. Number six. When you. When you. Turn around. Turn, turn on, turn on, ¿qué, ¿Qué es turn on? Cuando tú enciendes... Es encendido, ¿verdad? Es de encender Ajá. algo, ¿verdad? Ajá, an, ah, an electric... Okay. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Enciende en electric... Al appliance. 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 Ajá. Electric, electric appliance. appliance. The electric meter. The electric electricity the electricity matter goes yes goes up goes up uh -huh. pero que dice en español cuando usted enciende un un que un, un electric appliance una aplicación eléctrica o sea La electricidad se go up. I don't know. A ver qué significa. An electric appliance. An electric appliance. The electric matter. Ajá, matter. Bueno. 
Pasémonos al, al next. My, my little, my little sister always. My little sister always. Is uh, cry, uh, cry, cry when she is hungry. When she cry is hungry. Es con, con ese, ¿verdad? Cry. Sí, tercera persona. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh. when she, uh -huh. when she is hungry. Is hungry. Me. Yes. Ah, en serio. No. Y eso que ahí, ahí es más o menos fresco porque ahí hay palo. ¿no? Ah, sí. Bastante. Ah, eh. Bastante. Sí. No me recordaba del nombre del instituto. Bien, pero así se llama. Bueno, toda la gente le conoce como Inver, ¿va? Nosotros solo Inver le decimos. Pero el nombre oficial es ese. Benjamín Estrada Valiente, si sí, no me sí, recuerdo. Sí, Benjamín Estrada Valiente. Nunca fuiste a estudiar ahí. Bien, ahí estudié. ¿Y ahí te Solo que me arrepiento de haber estudiado ahí y tenía que haber ido para Santana porque siento que la... Eh, if you meet, if you mix red and blue, you get purple. You get purple if you mix red and blue. Plant there if they not get and no water. If they not get enough water, plants did. If you break a leaf, it hurt and it's very painful. It hurt and it very painful if you break a leaf. When my friends told me an important secret, I never tell into enjoying, enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. <laughs> I never tell into en, así se pronuncia, enjoy, enjoy. When my friends tell me an important secret. I never. Quiere que está diciendo la del diente todavía. <laughs> Tu tache. Tu tache. Bueno. Tu tache. No, lo diciendo como así. Tu tache. Tu tache. Ay, no. Invocando otra cosa. La otra sería any joy. Any joy. Anyone. You finished already? Yes. Well, let's wait for the others to join back. All right, they're coming.
Did you finish all the sentences? Okay. Yes, no. teacher. No, teacher. You're still missing. We stay in the 11. 11. All right. Yeah, you gain but... weight if you eat too much sugar and fried food. Teacher, what's mean gain? gain? Ganar peso. Gain weight. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Lose weight, gain weight. Lose weight, gain weight. Ah, uh, okay. Lose is Ganar it. y perder peso. You, you, when you go on a diet or you go to the gym because you need to lose weight. Okay. But Very if good. you eat okay. a lot of french fries, a lot of junk food, you definitely gain weight. A lot of tortillas, teacher. A lot of pan francés. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right, number 12. When my mother... Have a tarak a case. A toothache. She always. Yeah, when my mother has aspirin. a toothache, she always takes an aspirin. An aspirin yeah, is not enough, I think. And if you mix red and blue, you get purple. Plants die if. Uh -huh. the se mueren, ¿sí? If they <laughs> if they uh don't get don't get don't, don't get, get enough water. Don't mm -hmm. get enough water. water. Enough water. Yes, you definitely have to water the plants, right? If you don't water the plants, if they don't get enough water, they die. Yes. Mm -hmm. 15. If you break, did you break a, a leg? If you break a leg, leg is... it's hoarse it and hurts it's very and painful. It's very it's painful. Very, very painful. Painful. And painful. the last one. Painful. When my friends tell me an important secret, I never, I never tell it to, to anyone. Anyone. Bye. Difficult words que se encontraron en todo el exercise. <laughs> gain. Gain weight. Gain, gain weight, yes. Ah, okay. Another? Uh, an electric uh, all appliance. No sé qué an es. electrical all... appliance. Es que pensé uh -huh. que hay un typo. Tendría que ser electrical. Ah, es va un unido. Electrodoméstico. Oh. An electrical appliance. When you turn on an electrical appliance, the electricity meter goes up. ¿Qué es electricity meter? Electricity meter. ¿El contador? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Sube okay. cuando usa todos los electrodomésticos. Sí. Ah, the electrical meter in caso. Ah, okay. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Out. Y no el contador el... del accountant. ¿no? <risa> <risa> Pongo hielo y pago 100 dólares. <risa> Por estos días de calor que usted tiene que tener el ventilador, la like 24-7. <risa> ah. yeah. Yes. ¿Any other? Uh... No les costó la palabra dehydrated. Cuando... What number is it? Ten. Hydrated. If you don't drink enough water. Dehydrated. dehydrated. <laughs> ah, dehydrated. 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 True. 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 Dice, the number A is very uh -huh. interesting. <laughs> dangerous, but nobody dangerous. Dangerous, but nobody knows in this class, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, nobody knows. All right, no more. Uh, how do you say go, my teacher? Hangover. Ah, hangover. Okay, okay. Hangover, hangover. Yes, it's dangerous.
No more. That's it. Okay. Great. Okay, we have this short conversation just for fun. <laughs> Elliot and Amanda, shall I know who issues this purchase in this enterprise? I'm the one who issues the purchases. I'm the chief accountant. So what kind of data do you provide to distributors or suppliers? Well, the regular info like date, product, quantity, payment method, and so forth. Okay, so from now on, I will assist you with that. Okay. But that's for me, teacher. And so forth. Yeah, so forth. Nosotros usamos diferentes expresiones, como y así sucesivamente. Ah. O y así it... por el estilo, dice la gente. And so forth. <laughs> And so forth. Y otros. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. others. And others. Okay, mm -hmm. once again, shall I know who issues the purchase in this enterprise? I am the one who issues the purchases. I'm the chief accountant. So what kind of data do you provide? Algunas personas pronuncian data or data. Y cualquiera de los dos está bien. Do you provide data, to, data or data? Okay. What kind of data do you provide to the distributors or suppliers? Well, the regular info like date, product quantity, payment method, and so forth. Okay, so for now on, I will assist you with that. Vale, voy a dar un minuto para que la escaneen, así, la lean detenidamente, y luego voy a nombrar a dos personas para que la digan. Yes? Okay. Okay, it's coming. Ready? Come on, teacher, one couple minutes, please. <laughs> More. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough time. Okay, what about Carlos is Elliot and Mary is Amanda? Okay. Okay, go. Shall I know who is the purchases in this enterprise? I am the one who uses the purchase. I am the chief accountant. So what kind of data do you provide to distributor or supplier? Well, the regular info like date, product, quantity, payment, method, and so forth. Okay, so from now on, I will assist you with that. Great. From now on, I will assist you with that. I will help you, right? I will be your assistant. I will assist you with mm -hmm. that. Okay. All right. Next would be Andrea. I think Andrea would be now because the other Andrea went home and she said there was a big rain, I think. Andrea okay, Urbina, did... yes, you can be Amanda. And uh -huh. let's have Gilberto as Elliot. Okay. okay. Action. Elio, shall I know who is with the purchase in this enterprise? I am the one who answers the purchase. I am a chief account. So what kind of day do you provide to the distributor supply? 
Well, the regular info play dike. Dike. Products, quantity, payment, payment, mental, and so forth. Okay. So from now, on, I will assist you with that. I will assist you with that. All right. Okay. Thank you. Well, this is just to practice about the, the orders and the people who are in charge of issuing the orders, right? So let's see, who issues the purchases in the enterprise or company or the institution that you work for? And who is in charge of giving the green light to the purchase orders in your company? Usually people in the accounting area, right? They give the green light. They say, yes, you can buy, you can purchase that or no. No, too much money. <laughs> it's not green, a good investment. Green light. Green light is uh, like authorized. Uh -huh, the authorization. Authorization. Okay. Yes, they say yes. Do it. It's or, like no. a semaphore, teacher. Exactly. To go. Yes. To go to ahead. Go. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. It's very similar. All right. Match the following vocabulary with the appropriate definitions. Vendor, jobs address, issues of a purchase, frame materials, total price. Okay. And then we have these concepts are usually wood, engineer wood, or a structural steel. It means controlling or managing the process of a purchase. The global amount resulting in the addition of value, the place where a person or organization can be found or communicated with a person or company whose principal products lines are office supplies and equipment. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute. Try to scan the concepts and the definition. All right? Okay. All right, you have an idea already? Yes, I think. I think so. All right. I think so. So I want you to compare with your partner. Let's see what your partner has and what you have.
Hu. Hu es como en plural, ¿verdad? El principal producto online, el offering suplex ah. en la oficina, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, ok, ok, ahí cargo. Ok. Entonces, eh, yo address sería este, ¿verdad? A person or company whose principal product line are office supply and requirement. Yes. Okay. Uh, the vendor. The vendor. The place where a person. Uh, um, the place where a person organization can be found on communication weeks. ¿Cuál es? Yeah, Perdón. Yeah. Eh, el la, lugar la donde la per... Ok. Mm. Oh. Mm. Este como que perso por compañía. Este quiero ver sería a, a vendor, sería a person este. or company o principal product. <ríe> Qué panda mala la línea. <ríe> Pero creo que ese sería, ¿verdad? El que se encarga de yes. equipar las oficinas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yo address. Eh, creo que sería el the place where a person or organization can be found or yes. communicate with donde se puede yes. comunicar como el el, el eh, eh, donde el puede lugar donde... Uh -huh, el lugar donde pueden Teacher. Hello. We finish. All right, perfect. Um, uh, vamos a avanzar en el examen final. <laughs> okay, good, good, good idea. Okay. Ahí sería the global, the global no. amount resulting, resulting in the addition of mm -hmm. values. Mm -hmm. Yes. Esperando que así sea. <laughs> <laughs> sí, vendor a person or company who principal product line of supply and equipment. 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 John address the place. Where a person or organization can be found or communicate widely. Mm -hmm. It's visual forces with a means controlling or managing mm -hmm. the process, process of a purchase. Mm -hmm. um, material um, materials are usually cool. Wow, engineer. 
work or a structural steel. Structural, structural steel. Total, Total price, 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 global amount resulting in the, in the addition of value. Of value. Of value. Mm -hmm. Así que daría, ¿no? Está lloviendo ahí por su zona. Solo relampaguea y truena ahorita. Pero el calor sí es insoportable. Sí, eso sí. En el otro grupo que estuve... Ellos son de San Miguel y ella se estaba lloviendo súper fuerte, dice. Híjole. Sí. Había pronóstico, pero aquí no. Hi. Some people say that it's raining. My goodness. Here is about to rain too. I hear the sound of the thunders. All right, got it. What is the definition for vendor? Um, I think mm -hmm. with my team, mm -hmm. uh, the place where a person organization can be found or communicated with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A person or company. Uh, okay. 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 Job address? The place where a person... Uh -huh. Or organization yeah. can be uh, found or communicate. Communicate okay. with. Issue of purchase? Issues purchase. It's me it controlling. Controlling. Or managing exactly. the process of the purchase. Uh -huh. Brain okay. materials. Are I usually work. Work. Engineer. In engineer work. Or the structural steel. Or structural steel. And the last one, but not least. Total price. <laughs> the total price. Total amount, total amount, amount resulting in the addition of values. values. That's right. Okay. I think I'm just, oh, wait a second. This is related to what you have on this lesson which is a following, remember? This one, it's about the purchase order, right? Let's see, yes. So give instructions on what to do about a purchase order of a company and discuss. Do you issue purchase orders? What is the first price? Oh, sorry, what is the first piece of information you need? And what else do you need after that? Okay, so this is a purchase order. Read the following purchase orders information of a company. Builder MT Management Technology. Purchase order, this is the number, the date, the <laughs> January 9th of, seven, of 2017, job number and the order date. Then the vendor Bridgetown Building Materials for North Highway 24, Denver, Colorado. Colorado. And Colorado. the address, yes. Uh, 1010 to your trailer, like with. And this is the order. Please supply the following. 
This is the item, the item description, the quantity, the unit, the price, and the total. Okay, so this one is the first one. Frame materials for first floor. The quantity is one. And this is the price, 255.20. In total, 255.20. And frame materials, first floor. 100, okay, so I don't know why this is the different one, but this is one as well, and this is 6,160, in total the same. The work has been completed to the terms and conditions stated in our contract. The next order, this is 6,415. Taxes, no taxes, oh my God, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so practically what we have to do is analyze this purchase order and identify the following information. How many items are they buying? How much is the total price? Two simple sure. questions, yes. In this case, the purchase order, and. Um, the item description was means frame material. Frame material. Uh -huh. The frame is como marcos, material para marcos. Ya sea de ventanas, de puertas. Ah. Pero eso dice que puede ser ma eh, madera o aluminio. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, okay. No rain. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so let's take a look. And then how many items are they buying? Aquí falta una guay. How many items are they buying? Just two, right? That is pretty expensive, I think. <laughs> it's too expensive. Mm-hmm. And how much is the total price? Well, this is the total. 6,415.20. Okay. How many items are you buying? Mm -hmm. Two items. Two items. Okay. And that's all regarding that. Okay. I think I have another exercise, but just right here, give me one second. I just need to double check because of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The picture time, teacher. I know. <laughs> but most people are sleeping. Ah. <laughs> no, it's because in some places it's raining. Yes, rain. It's raining right very heavy. Yes. 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 Okay, let me show you what we are going to study. I think you already have this on the platform. I don't know if you have been able to complete it, but it's the time closes. Por efectos de que puedan avanzar en la en la platform y no se vayan a, a quedar mañana sin haber completado la platform, vamos a echar una ojeada a esto, lo del time closes. Yo sé que es un tema completo y que requiere tiempo pues para desarrollarlo y para, para trabajar en diferentes ejercicios que me hagan como más sentido, pero digamos que vamos a tener un preview. No es la gran cosa, ¿ok? Time closes es como el nombre fancy en gramática, pero es como decir, antes de tal cosa, yo hacía tal cosa, o antes de tal cosa, debes hacer tal cosa. Se llaman time closes porque expresan un periodo de tiempo. Before, after, as soon as, soon as and until. Before ya sabemos que es antes, after es después. Until es hasta que, como 
hasta que hasta que te conocí. <ríe> y Asunas es tan pronto como, tan pronto como haya llegado, me llamaste, son las mamás. Yes. So, eso, yeah. por eso se llaman time closes. No es Osuna. <risa> no, as soon as. As Bad, bad, bunny. Eh. Yes. Entonces, esto es como dos partes que componen la oración. Una parte donde expresa el periodo de tiempo y luego la otra parte donde expresa qué hacer o qué hay que hacer. Bye. En la primera dice... Before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check every product. O sea, antes de que vaya a empezar a escribir la orden de compra, tiene que revisar todos los productos. Entonces, por eso, por eso se llaman time closes. Y es porque denotan un periodo de tiempo. After they pay, we can start placing the packages on the truck. Después que ellos paguen o después que ellos hayan pagado, podemos a empezar a poner los paquetes on the truck. Yes. En el, en el camión. En el camión. We are authorized to change items until we check the purchase orders. O sea, nosotros, a, a nosotros se nos autoriza el cambiar los artículos hasta que until we check the purchase hasta que hayamos revisado hasta que revisemos la orden de compra de compra uh -huh. as soon as we register the order in our system you can take it home tan pronto como la hayamos registrado en nuestro sistema te la puedes llevar a casa mm, okay. as soon as uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bye. coming soon Coming soon. No sé si esto ya les ha salido en la plataforma, este tipo de ejercicio con time closes. Yes. ¿Qué tuvieron que hacer? ¿Se sintieron selección, familiarizados? Selección, selección múltiple. Uh -huh. Creo okay. que sí, selección múltiple. Perfect. Vale. Tratemos de darle forma a esto, pues. Vamos a elegir un circle. Aquí que elegirían, before or as soon as I get a job, I have to take a shower. As soon as, before. As soon as. Si yo digo as soon as, es hasta que llegue al trabajo me tengo que bañar. Oh, okay. <laughs> before. Before. Bien, lugar, before. Ahí, ahí al shower. <laughs> no, es cierto. Todos en no, toalla no, en el no, trabajo. En algunos lugares hay, hay gente que llega a hacer ejercicio y después de baño. Pero ya no pasa. Before, before I get to... Before. Uh -huh, before I get to my job, I have to take a shower. Okay. Once or until... You pay for the material you can start using. Um, until. Until. Um, hasta, que, hasta que pague por su material lo puede empezar a usar. Aunque once tiene sentido. Porque once lo que significa es una vez haya pagado. Cualquiera de las dos. Uh -huh. Aquí las dos tienen sentido. ¿Cómo digo cualquiera de las dos? Any, any of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Any of them. Y en no, ¿qué es eso? Enough. Enough. Enough, enough, enough. ¿Cómo es lo suficiente? O... Lo suficiente. Ok. Uh -huh. Give the change after or before you know how much the total is. After. 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 Sí, antes de saber cuánto es el total, no le puede dar el cambio. Mm. Right? All okay. the workers can go until or before they finish their work. <laughs> until. Until they finish. No se pueden ir until antes de que they... hayan terminado el trabajo. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, teacher. So this is the time closes. Clear? So, clear. So? Yes, yes. All teacher. right. 
clear. I think I have some other exercises, but let me check. Just, I'm not quite sure. Oh, yes, this one, this one. Do you teach the next level, teacher? I'm not sure. <laughs> really? Yes, I'm quite okay. sure. I, I think so. I hope so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before you start using the purchase. Of, oh, okay, it's the same examples I have. Okay, tienen five minutes para que comparen lo de la platform y el exam. Ya lo tienen. Alguna question. Yeah. Me pasa un poco, pero. ¿Tienen questions acerca de la platform o de algún ejercicio en específico? No podemos hacer. No, ah, teacher. No, todo clear. Teacher, la plataforma se, se congela en algún momento. I, les has dado cier de, problemas. De ciertos intentos. Really? No mm, debería. No debería. No. Uh, Teacher, es que yo ayer intenté modificar una de las, bueno, del examen final, uh -huh. no, sino que de algunos ejercicios que no los había hecho bien. Uh -huh. Y no me dejaba. Really? Yes. Yes, really. <laughs> y ya no volvió a intentar. Pues como a la segunda vez que lo intenté uh -huh. y no me daba como el pase, dije yo, ay, no, ¿para qué voy a seguir intentando? Y me decía que ya estaba en archivo. Really? Las clases que ya habían sido como archivadas. Y yo me quedé, no, pero no ha terminado. Ajá, no ha terminado. Pero así me parecía. Uh -huh. Ahora sí me he tenido la oportunidad de meterme, pero uh -huh. me quedé así con eso de que que podía cambiarla, ¿va? Uh -huh. Algunas para que no salgan como tan bajas las, las notas, decía yo, pero no, no pude. ¿Y los demás han podido hacer algo este día, modificar algo? Yes, yo hace poco he estado modificando y sí me dejó. Uh -huh. Bueno, voy a intentar ahora. Sí, porque acá, ajá, dice que hasta el 21 va a estar activo. Bien raro porque si me, o si me sale así le voy a tomar una foto y, y se la mando. Y lo ponga en, en, el, ajá, en el grupo porque igual ahí lo ven los técnicos. También puede ser que tenga algo que ver la, la conexión. A veces puede ser eso. Pero es que me decía que ya estaba en archivo. Archivado. Ajá, porque decía de que ya, ya es como que se puede visualizar que estaba en archivo, dice pero acá dice finalización del curso, después de la final el, curso, el contenido del curso será archivado y no estará activo, pero después del 21st. A saber entonces, voy a intentar ahora. Sí, o refresque la página. Ajá. Uh -huh. Va. Está yeah. bien, Titi. All right. Anybody else? No. Ya todos terminaron. Everybody finished. All the assignments, all the exams. Yes, I think it's... All right, nice. A ver, libro de calificaciones. One, okay. All right, yes. Nice, nice. Okay. Great. Salvador, todavía le falta Salvador. Unit four. In the exams. You see who else? Mm -hmm. Virginia, midterm and final exam. And William is still working on three and four final. All right, let's have the attendance. Andrea Monge. Andrea, ya no logró conectarse, Andrea. She was going home. Pero dice que estaba cayendo una mega storm aquí. Y aquí solo, solo hizo un gran ruido y ni llovió. Carlos. Present teacher. Denis. Gilberto. Present teacher. Hazel. Present. 
Did you get home finally? Yes, thank you. <laughs> it was raining. A lot. From Santa Tecla. Yes. Oh, that's why. I'm sorry. And Jose, who has to work pretty late, Julio. Catherine. Present. Kathy. Mary. Present. Robert, who no pudo estar today. Maybe he's working, Rolando. Present, teacher. All right, Rudy. Salvador. Andrea Urbina, Virginia. Present teacher. Teacher, ay, gracias por este nivel. Usted ha sido una buena teacher. Mira que el teacher que teníamos antes, yo hasta miedo le tenía. Why? Ah, because her is very angry. <laughs> very regañation. He was uh -huh, very regañation. Why? La actitud era demasiado pésima. No le gustaba que le preguntaran nada. Él era Google. <laughs> 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 oh my But we have okay. learned. So, así que usted no cae con usted volviera a meter los niveles que fueran necesarios, pero si el día de mañana me toca ser teacher otra vez, ay, no, Thank no you. dejo. <laughs> All right. Pero sí, bueno. thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. No vayan a faltar porque tenemos la encuesta. And that's very important for InsaForm. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. okay. If they don't receive those numbers, <laughs> we are dead <laughs> all right okay have a good night rest good night good night, good night. Good night. see you tomorrow take care likewise